Iron, Michael, Chandler, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. First, he's a credentialed collegiate wrestler. He fathers a foster child and the guy has more character and great energy permeates off of this guy just as much as any other fighter or athlete that I've ever witnessed. And I mean that I couldn't possibly be more fond of Michael Chandler than I am of Michael Chandler. This guy is just special. But there's a rule in the sport of combat and we must abide by it. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about because you can't make it to the very top with holes in your game. And the first example that I'll have of that I'm going to go on to it, but before I get started, I'd like to introduce myself for those of you who have never watched this channel. Shame on you. Boy, you are late to the dance. My name is Eric A. Bradley, and this is where we break the fight world down, round by round. Today we get into Michael Chandler. I'm going to give you a great example of what this means when you are an athlete at this level and you cannot get away with it. Years ago, a young man, one of our YouTubers, the guys who follow and watch us, and he was invited to come to the gym after asking. He came to our gym and I always tell our athletes before you walk into our gym. If you're from another gym, city, state, country, doesn't matter. I tell them the same thing. And it really equates to this Michael Chandler scenario. If you have any holes in your game, do not step inside of that boxing ring to spar. And why do we say that? We say it because there's guys who who think it's what it, what they see on YouTube when they get into the gym, but they don't realize that the angle changes, right? So he asked and I gave him forewarning. And after we do that, we slide the waiver paper right over to him. Why do we do that? Because that covers us as gym owners and people who could put you in a scenario where your life is at stake and that's the real deal. And, and this is what I mean. You cannot make it to the very top with holes in your game. The first thing I gave this guy an opportunity to do is to give himself an out by asking him, are you sure you want to get in the ring and spar? I want to spar. And it's usually the guys who, who are bullies who come into the gym and just want to spar without really none knowing and understanding, got the bully mentality. And if you ask for the smoke, we got to give you the smoke. And when it's all said and done, he gets into the ring after being forewarned and we've signed a waiver, release form. Now some people get it twisted because you see our videos and you, and, and you think, okay, you know, I can do that. So I give the guy an opportunity to, you know, back out and I'm, like, are you sure you're ready to get in this work? He's like, no, I'm a professional kickboxer. You know, I just finished sparring. I said, but that's kickboxing. This is boxing. Two different sports, 1,000%, right? He gets in the ring. It's so amazing what social media can do, the internet, that the guy felt like he was part of our team. But what he didn't realize is, the guys that were walking in and he was name them, name, naming them because he sees them and he was like, oh man, I see you on television. So we're like, okay, starstruck moment. This is what it is though. When you come into the, the boxing gym or whatever combat gym you're going to, you better realize this is not a game. He gets in the ring and like the videos of ours that he watches, now he's more of in the opposite corner 
and this guy is outweighing my guy by 45, 50 pounds. So I got to protect my guy. I'm just making sure he comes in, he starts his stuff. And just like we know, people outside of the world of boxing do not understand how important it is to know range, balance, you know, execution of your technique is primal. You have to know your skill set. It's a lot of detail in boxing. And, you know, he gets literally knocked out of the ring with a straight left from a southpaw boxer who's, like I said, he's given up 45 pounds minimal to this guy. He was 160. This dude was walking in at 210. All right. So that's an immense difference in size. And so I have to make sure that my guy doesn't get hurt. So when he came into the gym, he realized one thing. This is different than when you are watching YouTube videos. And like I said, we gave him an opportunity to get out back out. But, you know, scum inside convinces you that you're ready for this. One thing I realized is you can't watch video and see people doing things that are magnificent and think just because you see something that you can go in there and, and deal with it. But when it comes to combat sports, one thing you best know, you better have your game buttoned up. And when Michael Chandler went into the octagon, um, Aloe Vera is an absolute balanced purist. And when I say purist, I mean he's groomed in each and every facet of the game. And that takes us back to why you do not come into the gym with holes in your game. If you're on television, it's an entirely different level. You don't get to the top. And when, when you get there with holes in your game, it's not something you luckily do. There's no fighter that luckily won the championship. You've done everything right to get in that position, to get there and fight for it and win it. Some date us back a couple of years ago, 2019, Saudi Arabia, New York, I mean, excuse me, Madison Square Garden, Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz. No way this guy, Andy Ruiz, can be Anthony Joshua. He looks like a marshmallow, stay puff marshmallow man. What do you do? Anthony Joshua looks like an Adonis. He gets into the fight. When it's all said and done, he gets smoked. Knocks down Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz comes back, knocks him down, finishes the fight in the seventh round after the third down knockdown of each fighter. Okay. So that was no fluke. He didn't just get to the top and win the title on a fluke. He's actually good enough. He just doesn't look the part. There are a lot of guys who are at heavyweight in the UFC that, you know, they're just big. Derek Lewis, for example, was just big before. Now he's big and a lot leaner. He takes the game serious. One thing's for sure, though, you are out here watching this video and maybe you're aspired to be a fighter or you're just a real enthusiast of the sport. One thing is for sure that if you decide to be a fighter or a trainer, and because most people who train are the guys that follow us, we have an immense respect for what you want to do, but we have also a gut check reality of what it is when you get into the ring and you have to actually do it. It's two different things. Andy Ruiz, that was no fluke. Aloe vera, that was no fluke. The thing about it is Michael Chandler has holes in his game. He knew it before. Chell Sonnen called it out. Did he address it in camp is the thing. And that's what we teach our coaches. Uh, for those of you who don't understand, I'm not just a talking head. I do this for real. Three decades into the combat sports world, started in mixed martial arts in 2005. Guys with the likes of Tony Ferguson, 
his teacher, his trainer, under our tutelage, close friends with the, the Poirier camp. And when I worked for ESPN from 2000, I don't know, 614 to 2018, something like that, I worked for ESPN, The Insider, and I, and I did articles and stuff. And the thing about it is knowing the sport, giving and giving the sport something that it's lacking, which is, which is the truth. And that's what we're giving you all, the truth. And I was, I'm such a fan of Michael Chandler, but the fact of the matter is this, if you got holes in your game, do not step into that octagon. And that's talking to you, all right? Because it's no game. And like I warned the young man, just because you see us on Facebook, Instagram, once you get into the ring, it's a different business. You're not liking and commenting on and sharing our post for educational purposes. You physically and literally have asked for smoke and that's what you're going to get. If you step into that ring with holes in your game, that's all we got for you. And that's all we got for you. So let us know if you're aspiring to do what you see those guys do. Make sure you let us know in the comment box. And what do you think about the fight if you got an opportunity to see it? Because one of the things that's really important is that you know who you're watching. And I got a behind the story on Tony Ferguson, like I told you before. I train the trainers that of the fighters that you guys are watching. So that's what my company does. We make sure that they have the actual content to, to create the programs that's necessary to build and groom elite level athletes. Not to only get there, but to actually do the things that's necessary to win. When you look at uh, Michael Chandler, and this is kind of where we're gonna leave it. Walking into a school, and asking to fight will be like walking up to Bruce Lee if he had a school and asking him to fight some of his students and you've never fought before. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Just keep in mind, if you're going to do it, make sure you get the proper learning and stuff. That's all we got. But we have the inside story on what goes down or what went down with Tony Ferguson from inside of the camp. I'm actually going to reveal the actual note that his, his coach, which was, like I said, one of the fighters that I mentored, I was his advisor, and we won and did big things together. I'm gonna share some of those comments with you because we want you to. And if you wanna see those, make sure you subscribe or not, it's on you. There's a great video called Five Layers of Defense right here. Boom. So check it out. It gives you an insight of all of the things that you may not be aware of that happen at the top when you get to the top. So make sure you're prepared. If you do it in coaches, make sure that you take your athletes and give them everything that's necessary. And if you're an athlete, make sure you are getting it all. It's necessary, man. That's all I got for right now. Continue blessings to the guys who fought on the card last night. It was magnificent. Absolutely stunning. The UFC does it again. So until next time, continue to follow us. Subscribe or not. We out of here. Be blessed. Peace. Remember, Ferguson, what really went on behind those closed doors of that camp? <laughs> Subscribe. You'll see this week. Peace.